How's it going everyone? So this is going to be a bit of a follow-up video in regards to my previous video on the situation involving Quite and Orion, aka the false accuser. And the reason as to why I'm making this video, ladies and gentlemen, is because honestly, what we're going to be getting into here, quite frankly, deserves its own video. So the first thing I want to get into is this. We were sells this Twitter user tweeting out, so after Quite was essentially forced to reveal deep insecurities about his sexual performance issues, which none of us had the right to ask of him, his abuser is now trying to change the narrative to discredit that disgusting and attached to the tweet is an image showcasing the following from Orion. He raped me with fingers and on top of that he's lying about the context of all those screenshots. So not only do we have ourselves a fine example of narrative changing as well as shifting goalposts but this right here is also an attempt at gaslighting as well and not showing any evidence to back up said gaslighting i.e. saying that he was lying about the context of those screenshots. How is he lying? And that right there is a telltale example of what an abuser does. They gaslight you. They manipulate you into taking their side of the story. Uh, but no, ladies and gentlemen, it gets even worse. Now, this right here is a document that Orion ended up posting on Twitter. However, we have ourselves this lovely user basically exposing how much of a bad and faked document this really is. So not only does this document have grammatical errors up and down the wazoo, but there are also big time red flags that point towards this being fake, such as this example right here, how we have ourselves bullet points four and five literally repeated in bullet points six and seven. And not to mention when it comes to the signature here, we have ourselves, and I quote, Checked the opacity. This shit literally was ripped from Google or a doctor's signature. Forging a medical document is illegal, you know. This definitely spells 100% fake to me. And not to mention, congratulations, Orion. You broke the law by forging a fake-ass document. I also find it funny how after you posted this on Twitter, you decided to limit replies. I mean, if you were truly innocent, then you wouldn't be trying to shut down criticism, would you? I also want to bring this up as well, because this right here is going to have widespread damage, not just in the case of Quite, who is the victim out of this situation, let's make that abundantly clear, but this right here is going to further damage all of the actual victims of assault and abuse. So, good job, jackass. I really, really hope that your 15 minutes of fame was worth it. And normally I try to keep a professional and civil tongue in my head when it comes to these sort of issues, but quite frankly, Orion, you deserve none of that. The only thing that you deserve is for you to stay away from the internet, okay? Log off, get the help you need, and you better hope and pray that no legal action gets taken upon you because quite frankly, quite has every single right and then some to legally pursue you after the shit that you pulled. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I never have to talk about this again because this is something that is quite frankly legitimately disgusting and infuriating. This is something that more than deserves to be called out, but this is also something that is just, it reminds me of one of the biggest evils in the world, that being false accusations. I firmly believe 150% that those that are proven beyond a shadow of a doubt guilty in the court of law should face the fullest extent of the punishment possible if they find themselves to be guilty of abuse and any form of assault. However, I also feel that those that make false accusations of the sort, causing similar levels of damage to those that they falsely accused, those false accusers should face the same type of punishment to the fullest extent of the law. Guilty until proven innocent is how a lot of Twitter users run nowadays. It should really be innocent until proven guilty. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a damn good one.